Let's say that one of your friends is very good at crypto, he has a lot of knowledge and he is currently making very good profits from mining Ethereum. So you also want to make some of these profits, but the problem is that you don't know how to run these mining devices, and also, even if you learned, you don't have the time to manage and maintain them correctly. So you asked your friend if he could buy you one of these devices and run it for you, and in return, he will get 10% of the mining profits, so he accepted, and you started making profits without knowing how to mine. What you did here is very similar to how cloud mining works. Welcome to Cryptobi, where we explain cryptocurrencies and DeFi topics in the most simple and beginner-friendly way. In this video, you will know what is cloud mining and how it is done, why would you start cloud mining and finally, some of the risks of cloud mining. So, let's get started. To be able to understand cloud mining, you first need to understand what is mining at the first place. So, mining is the process of verifying transactions and adding new blocks to the blockchain. All miners on the network are trying to solve a very complex mathematical problem, and the one that solves it first gets rewarded with crypto, which is the profit you make as a miner. The point here is that solving this problem requires specific devices called ASIC miners or at least very powerful computers. So you can buy these devices and operate them yourself, but you should know that they require some technical knowledge to operate and maintain, they are also pretty big, they generate a lot of heat and noise, and they consume a lot of electricity. Some people are okay with that, but many others don't want to deal with all this hassle, and that is where cloud mining comes in. So, what is cloud mining? Cloud mining is simply renting a company's devices to mine with them. This mining company has a lot of miners, and most of the times, it is located in a country with cheap electricity and cool weather. So they don't have the problems you have, and they run these miners and rent them for people like you, who want an easy way to start mining. Most of the times, you can rent a portion or a percentage of a device's power. If you are confused, here is an example. Let's say that a Bitcoin miner has a hash rate of 10 terahashes per second. A hash rate is the way we measure the power of a miner, the higher the hash rate, the higher the profits it can make. So, you created a contract with the company that lets you rent 1 tera hashes per second only of this device, which means that you are renting 10% of this miner. So, if this miner makes a monthly profit of $520, the company may take $20 and you will get $50, which is 10% of the profits after the company takes its cut. The renting period, also called the contract period, may be one year, two years, or sometimes more, but most of the times, you need to pay for the entire duration in advance. You should know here that some companies may let you select a miner you want to buy, pay them the money, and then they will buy it and operate it for you. But of course, they will take a percentage of the profits for the operation and maintenance of your device. Also, you will have to pay them for the electricity consumed by your miner, and you also may pay a setup fee when you first buy a device, but you take the profits for the lifetime of the device. This way of cloud mining is called, hosted mining, as this company hosts your miner in their mining farm. So to sum it up, you can either rent a portion of a miner's power for a specified duration, or you can order a company to buy you a device and operate it for you, they will take a percentage of the profits, and you'll take the rest of the profits for the lifetime of the device. A very common misunderstanding here is that many beginners confuse cloud mining with pool mining, but they are two very different things. Remember when we said that mining is solving a very complex mathematical problem? Well, the miner that solves this problem first gets the reward, while the other miners get nothing. So, a number of miners can come together forming a group to increase their chances of solving the problem faster than other miners. So, if one miner can try to solve this problem 5 times per second, a group of 10 miners can try to solve it 50 times per second, and when they get a reward, it is split among all miners according to their hash rates, more powerful miners take more than weak small miners. But at the end, everyone makes some profit. This is what pool mining is, but to join a pool, you have to buy the miner, run it, and maintain it yourself. Cloud mining on the other hand is when a company do all of this for you and take a portion of the profits in return. So, when should you consider cloud mining? 
First, if you have expensive electricity in your country, as you may lose money if you try to mine yourself. Also, like what we said earlier, these mining devices are very loud, pretty big, and take up a lot of space, while generating a lot of heat. So if you don't have extra space in your garage or something, it will be very annoying to run them inside your house. Finally, if you don't know how to operate these devices, as they require good technical knowledge to be able to keep them running smoothly. Although with cloud mining you don't have to worry about any of the things we talked about, still, there are many scam companies out there, and you have to trust that the company you choose won't take your money and run away with it. So, some red flags to look for are spelling mistakes on their website, no known company address, and the lack of reviews about them. If you see any of these red flags, you better stay away from this company. Some of the well-known cloud mining companies on the market are Genesis Mining, Chicken Fast, and Shaw Mining. Also, to decrease your loss in case anything goes wrong with the company you are with, try and avoid paying for long-term contracts. One last thing to keep in mind is that if any mining company buys you a device, you won't be able to sell it after a while. So, as with anything in the crypto space, do your own research and calculations before taking any decisions. At the end of this video, we hope you learned what you need to know about cloud mining, and if you liked our video and want to reward our hard work, give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching.